Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Well, I've got your attention. I'd like to ask that if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and to tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would appreciate your support via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description box below. So, Robert Mueller has testified before the House Judiciary Committee and the House Intelligence Committee. Everybody seems to have their own hot take on it, and I suppose that as the only adult in the room, I should probably have my own. First off, ignore anything you see in the press. Nothing you see in the press is real. Nothing. Democrats saw exactly what Democrats wanted to see. Proof positive that Trump is literal Hitler and needs to be impeached. Republicans saw exactly what Republicans wanted to see. Proof positive that Trump is clear as the driven snow and that this was all a setup designed to take down a fairly elected president. On this one, both sides are full of crap. For those of you who are hoping against hope that this was it, the truth was finally going to come to light, and that it was curtains for Trump. Well, it didn't happen, and it's never going to happen. Get over it. Work to vote him out in 2020. That is your only option. Remember that this whole thing started with a story that had been shopped around to all the major news outlets for months, and they all declined to run it because they couldn't find anyone who could substantiate it. It was only ever picked up by BuzzFeed, the weekly world news of the internet. They might as well be running stories on Bat Boy. If you ever thought that this would amount to anything ever, then you were completely delusional. Work to get Trump voted out in 2020. That's your only option. The real nature of this, actually, was summed up best by a Facebook friend who said, and I quote, it ended up being largely rehashing of things we already knew and public masturbation. End quote. Yep, that's accurate. And that was all it was ever going to be. The deal here is pretty simple. Mueller was a supervisor. He had a whole bunch of people working under him. He was not aware of what every individual under him was doing, nor what specific information they uncovered. In an organization that large, nothing else would be possible. Mueller also didn't write the report. With a document that long, the staff under him wrote it, because nothing else would have been possible. He supervised the operations, and he signed off on the document, and that is all. I've worked for companies the size of the team that Mueller was supervising, and typically, well, not only were the company presidents unaware of anything going on in their own companies beyond a very sketchy outline, but company presidents tended to be idiots to boot. Their job, you see, is to push paper and to deal with financials, not to know the gory details of what everyone under them is doing. It's why they have vice presidents, department heads, team leads, etc. There was an entire org chart under Mueller, and those are the people who should be questioned if you want details. If Congress wants details, they'll need to find out the specific individuals under Mueller responsible for various aspects of the investigation. A better use of their time would have been to ask Mueller questions about who investigated what. Then Congress could call those specific individuals to testify. Now, the people on these committees know full well what I just said. Anyone who has ever seen the internal workings of a large organization know what I just said. Now, I understand the Republicans ignoring this in order to make Mueller look like a doddering old fool. What I don't understand were the Democrats doing the exact same thing. If it were me, the only questions I'd have asked would have been something like, Mr. Mueller, who on your team was lead investigator into the matter of obstruction of justice? And then I'd later have called that lead and asked them specific questions. Now, I will say that Mueller should have been more prepared. He should at least have been more familiar with the report than he appeared to be. It made it easy for those committees to make him look like a doddering old fool. So, as my Facebook friend said, it ended up being largely rehashing of things we already knew 
and public masturbation, end quote. And that's all it was ever going to be. And that's all I have to say about that. So thanks for watching. I'd love to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And that's all the time that we have today for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing the control and manipulation of minds.